So Beth, um, I found this in my closet. I um, had this for Halloween one year. I was a vampire slayer. I don't know if you can... Ooh, look at that. Mm, so pretty. So I just thought, oh, well, this kind of goes with the book. I don't know. I just felt like wearing it. Not wearing something I normally wear. And look at the neck. It's all like druidy and stuff. Ooh. So I finished Son of the Shadows. Um, I actually, I, I thought it was a really good continuation of Daughter of the Forest. Um, as far as whether or not it's better or not, I don't know. I don't, I guess I didn't get into the story as much as you did. Um, I'm definitely going to read Child of the Prophecy because it's kind of like I need to find out what happens. So I'm probably going to mess up on Leaden's name because I keep on wanting to say Leandin. Um, when I put an N in there, or I want to say Lee Aden instead of Lee Auden. Lee. I don't know. I'm sorry if I mess up. I know that you're a really big fan of hers, but um, I kind of, I'm having a problem with that. I liked how she was, she was a really strong character. Like I was, she definitely had some balls, balls of fury and so forth. Whether or not I like her more than Sorka, I'm not actually sure because as I said, like I care about the characters in a way, but I don't care about them maybe as much as I should. I don't know why. I feel kind of distant from them, um, which is probably my own fault, not the author's. So my favorite part, my favorite page in the whole book, I bookmarked it with one of your little things. It was still in the book. See? Um was page 425. It's when Connor's talking about why um, Kiaren, like, didn't find out about his past um, and how he had hoped he hadn't been found out. And I just thought he made some really nice points because I I did feel bad for Kiaren not knowing what his past and stuff was, but I understood why they didn't tell him kind of the, you know, your fate is sealed, like if they told him, or maybe he would go after his mother. I think the family handled the situation between Niob and Kiaren very badly, as I'm sure that's what you were talking about in your last video, about how there's reasons why you didn't like Connor in the new book, in this book, um, and I can see why, like, that, but I also felt I understood why he didn't tell him his past and his mother and everything. Um, kind of, it kind of mirrored the situation that they told about, um, the son who killed his father. I really liked uh, the character Bran. He was an awesome character. I was not expecting, although at the at first I had a really hard time because I felt all of them were black. And I was like, damn, where'd they get all these black people? And I was like, that's strange. Because he was called the Painted Man. And so I thought he was black and then, you know, had like maybe tattoos that were even more black than his skin. So that was confusing me. And I wasn't until you learn that Leaden is um, pregnant that I realized that, oh wait, he's not black because that would have been a really <laughs> big deal if he had been because, you know, the baby would have been obviously his. I mean, it was kind of already obviously his, but even more so. I see why you like this one more than Daughter of the Shadows though, because this one, I really love all the scenes where they're in the camp. Um, with Dog and Snake and Gull and everyone. Um, it's really a fun type of read, whereas Daughter of the Forest, it's kind of her suffering through the whole thing and um, having to be quiet and being very internal, whereas um, Leiden's rather external. So I, I really did like the camp scenes, and I liked all the men. I wonder if they wore tights, the men in tights. So anyways... Um, I'm intrigued to see what happens with the School of Outcasts. Um, that was probably my, the most interesting part in the book. The part of the book that annoyed me, and it's a really small part, um, it's the fact that Red, and I know that's not his name in this book, but I don't want to say the other name, and I really think the name Red really suits him, is whenever he called Leaden sweetheart, and for some reason that really bothered me, because I know a father says that to his daughter, like, my dad sometimes calls me like, pet names, but, like, it kind of bothered me since he didn't find a more unique name for her. I guess Juliet, um, the author, didn't decide to give him, like, a more unique nickname for her because she was such a unique character, and I didn't think Sweetheart was, like, 
I don't know, it's just such a common one. So, and he calls Sorka Owl sometimes, and I think that would have, like, if he had found something like that, that would have been a lot better. I loved it whenever Leiden told a story. Um, it was always really interesting and really poignant, and she always moved quite quickly. Whenever Connor wrote a story, I would kind of half skin the page, like, kind of like, oh, God, can we just shut the, uh, please. Because I actually, um, I told you at the end of the book, end of the last book, and the beginning of this book, I wasn't a big fan of Connor. By the end of the book, I was a fan of Connor again, because I feel like, yeah, he's a jury day, he makes mistakes, but he's really, he really cares about his family, and he couldn't foresee the future of what would happen with Kiarden. He obviously did, like, he really did think of him as a son, and I really thought that that was a great little guy, byline. Um, so, yeah, but still, whenever Connor would read a story, I just kind of like... The Kiaran thing that he's related to them, like, you meet, Ki like, Kiaran comes up, and this may just be because I read Daughter of the Forest, like, less than a week ago, but I was like, well, no shit, Sherlock, like, at the end of the book, I'm just like, since we met, the, the moment we met him, that since the moment he came, like, to the page or whatever, I was like, um, that's your uncle, like, that's your uncle, because I think in Daughter of the Forest, they say, the son's name is Kiaran. And they go after him. And I was just like, this is so obvious. Like, it was just really annoying because, like, I knew it. And I don't know if the readers are supposed to know. I, I, I'm i guessing they would. Like, most readers would realize that. I wasn't expecting that Bran was Johnny's son. I didn't expect that. But as I said, part of that was because throughout most of the book, I thought he was black. So that was a real problem for me when he said, like, oh, your father read's a terrible man and he left us. And I was like, wait, there were no black people at Harrowfield? <laughs> what is he talking about? So that was confusing. So Aomon's character is a little shithead. Yeah, I mean, when I met him, I kind of didn't like him, but he seemed more innocent than, you know, aggressive. But there is definitely an aggressive quality in him, which shows at the end of the book. And I don't like him. He kind of reminded me of someone at our round table. Hint, hint, hint. The love scenes, oh my god. You write about the formulaic thing where, like, they fall in love with someone they're not supposed to be with. I said last video that I had, had a problem when I started the book because uh, Layden kind of bothered me. And you said you she reminded you of Beth and Little Women a little bit. And I don't think that's what was bothering me. And Because you, you had a problem, I think, with her staying at home. Wanting to stay at home and just take care of her parents. And I don't really have a problem with that because... In those days, what the hell were you go else were you going to do? Like, you're either going to get married, and the chances of it being for love when you're that, you know, important um, was slim. And the chance of you becoming a warrior is like, there's no chance. So, I guess it that wasn't that what bothered me. I think what was the thing that bothered me is that I'm not used to reading books that give a lot of detail about how the characters are feeling internally, like, because she does give a lot of detail how they're feeling internally, but she does it very earnestly, I guess, or I don't know, you know. And so I'm not used to reading that, and it doesn't have a lot of humor in it, which kind of, like, sometimes can seem a little cliche, which is not to say that I thought that the book was cliche because I thought after like chapter three that it was a lot better. Um, sometimes when you read about teenage characters, I think, especially if they're girl characters, it can seem like they're really unique, so that's why you should read about them. And Leanne or Leanne is a really unique character, but it didn't seem like I was reading um, a fanfic or anything after the, about the third chapter. So I did like, and I'm not saying that I think she writes cliche. Look at the hood on this thing. It's so major, like, no. Look, look at the hood on this, Beth. Look. Look at that. Oh, 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 look, look. Come with me, child. Mwahahaha. <laughs>